I have five easy, delicious Crock-Pot meals that you're gonna wanna make this week. I have made skinny taste meals in the past and we have loved every single one that we've tried. I had one book, I loved it so much, I went out and bought another book. So I have two skinny taste books and I have found five delicious crock pot meals between these two books. The first meal is a Cuban meal and it is picadillo. Now I prepared the base of this meal the night before. I scrambled up two pounds of lean ground beef. I added salt and pepper to that. Now I just added some onion. I'm gonna let those settle in and start cooking. I'm stirring in three cloves of minced garlic and one chopped red bell pepper. I'm gonna let the bell pepper and onions get nice and soft. One of you had asked me if it's okay to add raw ground beef to the crock pot. I've always cooked mine in the skillet before adding it to the crock pot. That way I can drain off any grease that's in there. I have sprayed my crock pot. And now I'm going to add that beef mixture that I made up yesterday into the insert of my crock pot. We're going to build on the flavor from here. I've added a small chopped tomato and now I'm gonna add eight ounces of tomato sauce. I'm adding some cilantro. If you're not crazy about cilantro, you can just keep this part out. And some green olives. There was a specific olive that she had mentioned adding to this recipe. I couldn't find those, but she also gave a couple more options in case we couldn't find those. I'm so glad she did because I ended up just using a green olive. It had a pimento in the middle, but it was really good. I'm adding a tablespoon of the olive brine to this dish. Another olive in there, <laughs> not a big deal. We like olives. One and a half teaspoons of cumin a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a fourth cups of water, and two bay leaves. I'm gonna give this a stir. I'm gonna set this on low and slow for the day. You can cook it on high for three to four hours, or you can cook it on low like I'm going to do for six to eight hours. This recipe is an easy one to build on. You can use this filling for stuffed peppers, empanadas, tortillas, tacos, or you can put it over rice like I did. She suggests using brown rice, I used white rice. For a generous half cup of the picadillo, it was only five points or 207 calories. This was absolutely delicious. Jason and Timothy added just a little bit of salt to theirs and they also added some hot sauce in there. Now the recipe does suggest that you can add some more cumin. I didn't do that. I wanted to try it first and then kind of build on it from there. For us personally, it didn't need more cumin. It just needed a little more salt. These are chipotle chicken tostadas. In a bowl, I'm adding three-fourths cup of tomato sauce, which is basically almost an eight-ounce can of tomato sauce. One-fourth cup of chicken broth. Half a teaspoon of salt. Two cloves of garlic. We like garlic, so I'm doing two heaping teaspoons of garlic. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of adobo sauce that's found in the chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, which is all these onions and smoky flavor. Some of the peppers may go in with the adobo sauce, which I think is perfectly fine. And one teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna give this a really good stir, mixing up all those yummy flavors. I have sprayed my crock pot insert. If there's a sauce with a crock pot meal, I like to put a little bit down on the bottom, and then that way I don't have to worry about my chicken sticking to the bottom of my crock pot. I have added four skinless, boneless chicken breasts to my crock pot. Now I'm gonna season them with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna take the rest of that sauce and pour it all over this chicken. Now I'm gonna put the insert into my crock pot, cook this on low for four to six hours until the chicken is done, and I can easily shred it with a fork. So I shredded the chicken with this little tool. I'll have it linked below. It's amazing, I use it all the time. But this chicken is so tender, it just barely touch it and it fell apart. This smells amazing, so let's start with our next step. Mom forgot to add a quarter of a lime after she shredded the chicken. I seriously it's thought you were gonna dump the, the lot lot lime of... in. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a good garnish. The flavor doesn't stop here. 
So we have two cups of cabbage that's going in. I just got the shredded cabbage for coleslaw. You need one teaspoon of olive oil. Just making sure that was actually a teaspoon. <laughs> and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We have half of a lime. We're gonna put the juice in with that coleslaw mixture. Timothy is going to lightly toss this, right Timothy? Yep, lightly. Lightly? Keyword. Okay, Ooh, what was that? Did you break the lime? <laughs> you broke the lime. And then we're gonna set this aside. Now we are going to prepare a refried bean mixture that goes on top of the tostadas. So Tim's adding a can of refried beans into the bowl. Now these beans are just the old El Paso beans. You can get fat-free beans, I believe, as well. Now he is gonna sprinkle in a teaspoon of cumin. Good job at sprinkling, buddy. Thank you. I've been practicing. <laughs> nice. And then we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of salt, was it? it? Ha half a half teaspoon. Half a teaspoon, but, but he's using- a quarter, using, so. Yes, he's using a quarter oh. teaspoon, so. And that's it, it's not. Spoon. No, it's not. Now he's going to stir this together really well, and we're gonna set this aside. These tostadas were layers of deliciousness. I cannot say enough good about these. Jason said that the refried bean mixture reminded him of the canned, I believe you can get them from the Frito brand, and you dip chips into them, they're just the canned beans. That's what it reminded us of. It was so delicious. And then putting that coleslaw over the top not only added extra crunch, but it gave a little more of a lime flavor to it. For two tostadas, it is 10 points, or 428 calories. To build a tostada, it is two tablespoons of beans, a fourth cup of chicken, and then you just top it with the cabbage mixture. Hey, why not make roasted rosemary chicken in our crock pot? In a bowl, I have a tablespoon of chopped up fresh rosemary. Now I'm gonna add two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of paprika. The recipe calls for sweet paprika, so if you have that, you might wanna use that instead. One teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of dried thyme, and one fourth teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna stir these together. You know, I was thinking even a smoky paprika would be good in this. I'm just using regular. Maybe next time I'll use smoky though. That does sound good. I'm gonna set this aside. In my crock pot insert, I have sprayed it and I put carrots on one half, potatoes on the other. Now I'm gonna take a half a teaspoon of salt and I'm gonna put that all over these vegetables. And I'm placing two fresh rosemary sprigs on the vegetables. I'm gonna set this aside. I have a whole chicken that I have washed and cleaned up. Now I'm gonna take that seasoning, I'm gonna put it all over this chicken and I'm gonna rub it into the chicken. I am also gonna take the rest of my fresh rosemary sprigs and I'm going to put those in the cavity of the chicken. I place the chicken on top of those vegetables, breast side up. I'm gonna cook mine low and slow for the day. To go along with our chicken dinner tonight, I think this is gonna add the perfect touch. It is a country loaf by Central Market. I looked this up in my Weight Watcher app and for one out of nine slices, it's only four points. This company also has a French bread that we absolutely love. That's actually one of my favorites. And then a sourdough, which we haven't tried yet, but I'm hoping to in the near future. I find all of these loaves of bread at H-E-B. Jason took the chicken out of the crock pot and it just fell apart. It's that tender. Man, it smells good. You could definitely make this wonderful meal in the oven, but the crock pot had it falling off the bone. This one was a huge hit in our household. That fresh rosemary really bumped up the flavor. And I mean, how genius that you take two sprigs of rosemary and lay it over top of vegetables. I've never thought to do that before, but every time I make a meal like this in the future, I'm going to do that. And it had plenty of broth left over to make gravy. On this night, I did not make gravy. This meal was 398 calories or eight points with the gravy. I love manicotti. Well, I just love pasta. This one is a spinach and cheese manicotti. In a bowl, I have one egg. I have thawed spinach 10 ounces and squeezed it out in a towel to get all of the excess liquid out of it. 
I'm adding one fourth cup of fresh Romano cheese, 15 ounces of part skim ricotta, one cup of part skim mozzarella, two tablespoons of parsley, the recipe calls for fresh. I'm just gonna use dried and some salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna mix this up really well and I'm gonna transfer this into, it says a gallon size bag. I don't have a gallon size. I have a two gallon size bag, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm squeezing out all of the air. I'm going to seal this bag. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and I'm going to clip the corner of this bag. I have manicotti shells. They're uncooked and I am going to squeeze some of this filling into half on the one side, it's messy. And then on the other side, I'm going to fill the other half. I sprayed the insert of my crock pot and I added about three fourths cup of marinara sauce to the bottom of it. Now I'm going to layer in the stuffed manicotti. I stacked seven into my crock pot. The recipe does not say to add a little bit of the sauce in between, but I'm going to because I don't want my pasta to stick together. Now I'm going to layer the other seven. Now I'm going to pour the rest of that marinara sauce over each one of these. I'm gonna cook this on low for only four hours. After the manicotti has cooked, you take that leftover one cup of mozzarella cheese and sprinkle it over the top of everything. Put the cover back on and let it melt for 15 minutes and dinner is ready. I did not realize you can make stuffed manicotti in the crock pot but you can. By not boiling the shells, I was a little worried that they weren't gonna cook. I don't know why I do that to myself, but they cooked up perfectly fine. These were delicious, very filling. Two stuffed shells is 12 points, or 414 calories. I served a small salad on the side with fat-free Italian dressing for zero points. Who doesn't love taco night? These are Tex-Mex turkey tacos. In a small bowl, I'm just using a little ramekin. You're going to add one teaspoon each of salt, chili powder, the recipe calls for sweet paprika, I'm just using regular, ground cumin, and oregano. Give this a stir. This recipe is actually meant for turkey meat. I'm using lean ground beef, but if you use turkey, you can put that in your crock pot raw, uncooked and you would just break it up at the end of cooking. But because I am using lean ground beef, I cooked mine up first so I could get all that grease out of it. I also sprayed the insert of my crock pot, and now I'm gonna add all of these delicious seasonings into the meat. I have a can of rinsed and drained black beans. Now I'm going to pour in one and a half cups of jarred salsa. Now if you're using the ground turkey and you haven't cooked it, you're going to cook this on low for eight hours. I'm gonna go low for probably about six because my beef is cooked. In this recipe, she said to use corn tortillas, six inch round corn tortillas. These are the ones that I used. I find them at Walmart. They are delicious. You could also turn these into chips by easily frying up a little bit in a pan or in the air fryer. I did that night and we turned ours into nachos. This mixture was very good. Jason said it reminded him of a chili. Now this one is another one you could do several different meals with. You could make nachos, like we did, tacos, or any other Tex-Mex style meal. If you're using ground turkey, two tacos is eight points or 349 calories. Now you can top these with light sour cream, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, black olives. I highly recommend you giving these recipes a try. It gives you a full week of crock pot meals. And let me tell you, that was so nice to get dinner out of the way for the day. At night, we had a delicious filling meal and we loved every single one of them. I don't think we had a favorite out of these five meals. Each one was different and yet delicious. As always, all the recipes are linked below. Here's two more Weight Watcher videos to watch next. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.